What should you do if your cat starts coughing? <laughs> or if he sits with his tongue sticking out? Or if he suddenly began to hiss at everyone? No idea? Well, this can end badly for your pet, because adopting a cat is not hard, but becoming his human is much harder. <laughs> Let's say your tomcat suddenly grew in size for no good reason. The diet's the same, could not get pregnant, because he's, well, a male. Any responsible owner will be worried about this, especially if the kitten's belly suddenly began to grow. Well, growing is normal for a kitten, but if it happens more or less evenly, there was clearly something wrong with this stray kitten. His belly looked as if he had swallowed a balloon. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Only the intervention of the vet stopped the strange process inside the small body. The kitten's life was saved. But what if I tell you this is not the only case like that? Moreover, this happens not only with cats, and sudden bloating can affect, well, actually anyone. In the fall of 2017, in one of the Russian villages, almost an entire herd of cows suddenly began to swell. This happened in the first hour of grazing, which is rather quickly. Thankfully, just like in case of that poor kitten, people managed to return the animals to their original shape. This happens much more often than I imagined, especially when it comes to cats. If you try to Google it, you'll be surprised how many articles you'll find, as if bloating is common for cats, but for some reason no one talks about it. Actually, there are many things you should know before you adopt a cat. Coughing Everyone has probably seen how cats sometimes spit up hairballs, but sometimes the cat suddenly begins making familiar noises as if he's trying to vomit, but then nothing happens. It's like he's trying to clear its throat. It's really easy to mistake coughing for trying to spit the hairball and miss the first symptoms of feline asthma, and this is a disease that progresses without treatment and can quickly become life-threatening. What about cats that sit in with their tongue sticking out looking funny? Sometimes a pet simply gets carried away and leaves the tongue outside. What? As if you've never stared at the wall immersed in your thoughts. But sometimes the protruding cat tongue can mean inflammation in the mouth, some kind of infection, pulmonary diseases that make it difficult for the animal to breathe. Yeah, asthma is among them too. Or maybe your pet is just very hot. And this is how he's trying to save himself from heat stroke. This only happens in extreme cases and requires immediate assistance. Give the cat water and take it to a cooler place. Well, or you can spray it with water. But most cats probably won't appreciate it. You're crazy. Of course, not all tongues which stick out are a reason to rush to the veterinarian. Dogs always cool down this way, because evolution didn't give them too many sweat glands. There are few of them. They are located on the paw pads and possibly on the nose. So to cool down, dogs had to get creative, open their mouth, and stick out their tongue to evaporate saliva from it. I agree, it sounds weird. Nature is generally quite weird. But the biggest thing that surprised me was the feline aggression. <coughs> If your pet has always been peaceful and kind, but then for no apparent reason he started hissing, scratching, and biting, this is a warning sign. In most cases, of course, there's a reason for such behavior. The cat could be scared of something, experience stress from a new place or environment, protect offspring, or simply get tired of human attention. Well, you know, when you talk to a very annoying person you can't get rid of, cats are lucky. They do not need to observe etiquette and can just hiss. However, the rarest and most dangerous type of aggression is when it's unprovoked, when the animal really had no reason to attack. Such aggression can be caused by a mental disorder or a brain tumor, and this is a serious issue. The scratch on the hand will eventually heal, but the cat's tumor… In short, take a closer look at your pet if he suddenly becomes too anxious and angry. Maybe it's time for a couple of vet checks. You can miss all the above-mentioned warning signs, but when your pet is bloating, it's hard to ignore it. The good news is, it's easier to deal with it than with a sudden urge to bite anything that moves. Though for a long time, people had no idea what was going on, and when people don't know something, they start to come up with all sorts of ideas. Why? Witchcraft fits best into any story with strange diseases, so in the Middle Ages, bloated toads were considered poisonous. Not only were the poor creatures associated with demons, witches, and other shadowy guys, they were also accused of spreading diseases. It's believed that King John of England was poisoned by a toad that was put into his drink. The king died from a swollen stomach a few days later, together with the monk who poisoned him. In the 21st century, it is almost embarrassing to think that demons are the ones responsible for swelling animals. Moreover, scientists have figured out the real reasons long ago. Spoiler alert! 
toads have nothing to do with it. Malnutrition can sometimes be the reason, but if you believe your cat gets better food than you, then the cause of swelling might be parasites. As strange as it may sound, worms are the most harmless reason for bloating in cats. You can get rid of them relatively quickly using medication. One of the most serious reasons for bloating is tumor or even cancer. But there is one more disease, it's more common, highly contagious, and potentially fatal. I'm talking about feline infectious peritonitis. By the way, that was the condition the homeless kitten from the beginning of the video suffered from. The infectious peritonitis is associated with a mutation of the feline coronavirus. No, God, please, no, no! Not that one. This one has nothing to do with COVID-19. Feline coronavirus is transmitted from one animal to another when they share litter trays and bowls, lick each other, and generally do not maintain social distancing. Then, after the animal endures stressful conditions, compromise their immune system, and peritonitis comes into play and inflates the poor organism. If you don't start treating it in time, the consequences may be lethal. By the way, how big can a swollen cat get? I can't believe I googled it. People didn't take measurements, but if you use your imagination and add some facts, you can imagine that. Oh, come on. Again? Several cats used to bear the title of fattest in the world, and the weight of the record holders was around 40 pounds. After that, the Guinness Book of Records simply stopped registering the data on fat animals so that the owners did not overfeed them on purpose. Maybe it looks funny, even cute. You want to cuddle chubby animals, but yes, you understand that obesity is not good. Health issues, shorter life expectancy, too high price to pay for funny videos on Instagram, Meow the cat died at the age of two because he could not lose weight. Orange tabby Skinny was more fortunate. After slimming down to 18 pounds, he lives and enjoys his life as a happy senior feline. In most cases, cats gain weight due to inadequate nutrition, lack of exercise, hormonal disruptions. It's very important to keep track of all this, especially if your pet is one of those who simply do not know when to stop eating. Don't forget that in the wild, cats are predators who get food themselves. Domestic cats always have food in the bowl, so there seems to be no need to waste energy. You can just lie on the couch and your human will bring you everything. Now who's a pretty kitty? I am. More food, less movement, well you get the idea. And by the way, since we're on the subject of wildlife, what do predators do when they see a sick animal? Bloated ones, for example? Do they understand that it's better not to eat it, or don't they care at all about that? According to research, animals feel sickness both in their own species and in other animals. It's all about these special smells coming from the infected. For example, bullfrog tadpoles try to stay away from other tadpoles which carry fungus. They stay 12 inches away, all for the sake of safety. If the tadpoles had masks, they would probably wear them too. That said, there are vultures who kind of sense the sick and dying, track them down, waiting for a dinner invitation. I say kind of for a reason, because outside of the Hollywood cinema world, vultures don't circle over dead creatures, or even over the dying ones. More often than not, they are simply killing time, either looking out and sniffing out dead prey, or waiting for a larger, possibly dangerous predator or scavenger on the ground to finish their meal. But would a vulture or any other beast risk eating a bloated animal? Oddly enough, they would. A sick animal means a weak animal. Weak means it will not resist, and as for possible parasites, infectious diseases or something like that, well, anything can happen. In the wild, sanitation is far from perfect. Also, some scavengers have long developed a special environment in their intestines that helps them deal with such threats. And yet, sometimes a bloated animal can be so dangerous that even the strongest stomach in the world, intestines and other organs, would not help. About 350 elephants died in Botswana in 2020, with some of the bodies oddly bloated. For a long time, scientists could not understand what or who caused the death of the animals. Poachers? Emissions of dangerous substances? Most likely, it was bacteria. But I mean a completely different threat. When elephants or whales die, they can explode. Gases formed inside stretch the body, but one single puncture and BOOM! No lion who decides to eat a dead elephant will be ready for this. It's probably a good thing the puffers don't explode. Or porcupines. I don't even want to imagine that. See you later!